Good day, math learners! Welcome to Division, Remediation, and Enhancement of Aptitude in Mathematics through e-learning, e-dream. I am Mr. Rene F. Fornal from Nueve de Febrero Elementary School. You can call me Teacher Rene, and I will be your mathematics buddy for today. Please join me as we explore the world of mathematics. Come on! Our lesson for today is about adding and subtracting fractions and mixed fractions without and with regrouping. For our objectives, at the end of our lesson, you are expected to add and subtract fractions and mixed fractions without and with regrouping. Now, let us discuss how to add and subtract fractions and mix numbers without and with the regrouping. How do we add or subtract similar fractions? Here are the steps in adding or subtracting similar fractions. Number one, look at the denominators. If they are the same, add only the numerators and copy the common denominator. Reduce the answer to its lowest term if it is possible, that is our number 2. The number 3, if you end up with an improper fraction, change it to a mixed number. Let us have an example of adding similar fractions without regrouping. Example, 3 twelfths plus 6 twelfths equals n. Look at the denominators, they are the same. Then, let us add the numerators. Copy the common denominator. Our answer is 9 twelfths or 9 over 12. Simplify the answer if possible. Our answer can still be reduced into lowest term. Let us find the greatest common factor of 9 twelfths or 9 over 12. Now, let us find the greatest common factor of 9 and 12 to reduce it into the lowest term. Nine twelfths. Let us find the GCF using the listing method. The factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So our GCF is 3. Now, let us divide both the numerator and denominator by the GCF. 9 divided by 3 equals 3. 12 divided by 3 equals 4. The lowest term of 9 over 12 is 3 over 4 or 3 fourths. Let us have an example of subtracting similar fractions without regrouping. Example, 6 tenths minus 4 tenths. Look at the denominators again, they are the same. So subtract only the numerators. The answer is 2. Then copy the common denominator which is 10. So our answer is 2 over 10 or 2 tenths. Simplify the answer if possible. Our answer can be still reduced to the lowest term. Let us find out the GCF of 2 and 10. The factors of 2 are 1 and 2. The factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5. So the GCF of 2 and 10 is 2. So we have to divide 2 and 10 by 2 to get the lowest term. 2 tenths divided by 2 over 2 equals 1 fifth. Therefore, the answer is 1 fifth. That is our lowest term of 2 over 10. Let us have an example of adding similar fractions and mixed fractions. Example, 2 and 1 6 plus 4 and 4 6. Again, look at the denominators. They are the same. So, these are the steps in adding similar fractions and mixed fractions. Number 1, add the whole numbers. 
So our whole numbers are 2 and 4. So that is 2 plus 4 equals 6. Number 2, add the numerators. Our numerators are 1 and 4. So 1 plus 4 equals 5. Copy the denominators, which is 6. So our answer is 6 and 5, 6. Simplify the answer if possible. Our answer is already in the simplest form. The answer is 6 and 5, 6. Let us have an example of subtracting similar fractions and mixed fractions. Example, 3 and 5 eighths minus 2 and 2 eighths. Again, look at the denominators. They are the same. So the first step is subtract the whole numbers. Our whole numbers are 3 and 2. So 3 minus 2 equals 1. Then, subtract the numerators. Our numerators are 5 and 2. So 5 minus 2 equals 3. Copy the common denominators. Simplify the answer if possible. Our answer is already in the lowest term. So our answer is 1 and 3 eighths. Now, let us study how to add and subtract dissimilar fractions. How do we add and subtract dissimilar fractions? Here are the steps in adding or subtracting dissimilar fractions. Number one, change the fractions to similar fractions by finding the least common denominator or LCD. Number two, write the equivalent fractions by dividing the LCD by the given numerator. Number 3. Multiply the quotient to the numerator. Add or subtract the numerators and copy the common denominator or LCD. Number 4. Express the answer in lowest term if possible. If you end up with an improper fraction, change it to a mixed number. Let us have an example of adding the similar fractions. Example, 3 fourths plus 1 sixth equals 10. Look at our denominators, they are not the same, 4 and 6. So, we have to change the fractions to similar fractions by finding the least common denominator or LCD of 4 and 6. Let us find out the LCD of 4 and 6 using the listing method. The multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, and so on. The multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. So our LCD is 12. Now, let us write the missing numerators or the equivalent fractions. By dividing the LCD to the original denominators, which are 4 and 6, let us now divide. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. Next, 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Multiply to the numerator, which is 1. 2 times 1 equals 2. Let us now add the numerators, which are 9 and 2. 9 plus 2 equals 11. Copy the common denominator. Our denominator is 12. Simplify the answer if possible. Our answer is already in the lowest term. So our answer is 11 over 12. Let us have an example of adding the similar and mixed fractions. Example. 5 and 2 sevenths plus 1 and 3 fifths equals n. Look at our denominators, 7 and 5. They are not the same. So, we have to change the fractions to similar fractions by finding the least common denominator or LCD of 7 and 5. Let us find out the LCD of 7 and 5 using the listing method. 
The multiples of 7 are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and 49. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35. So our LCD is 35. Now let us write the missing numerators or the equivalent fractions by dividing the LCD to the original denominators. Let us now divide. 35 divided by 7 equals 5 multiplied to the numerator which is 2. 5 times 2 equals 10. Next, 35 divided by 5 equals 7 multiplied to the numerator which is 3. 7 times 3 equals 21. Let us now add the whole numbers. 5 plus 1 equals 6. Add the numerators. 10 plus 21 equals 31. Copy the common denominator. Our denominator is 35. So our answer is 6 and 31 over 35. Simplify the answer if possible. Our answer is already in the lowest end. Let us have an example of subtracting dissimilar fractions. Example 2 bits minus 1 8 equals n. So step number 1 Change the fractions to similar fractions by finding the least common denominator or LCD of 5 and 8. Let us find out the LCD of 5 and 8 using the listing method. So let us write the multiples of 5. So the multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and so on. For the multiples of 8, they are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and 48, and so on. So our LCD is 40. Number 2. Write the missing numerators or the equivalent fractions by dividing our LCD to the original denominator. Our original denominators are 5 and 8. So let us divide. 40 divided by 5 equals 8. Then multiply to the numerator. So 8 times 2 equals 16. Next, 40 divided by 8 equals 5. Multiply to the numerator which is 1. 5 times 1 equals 5. Subtract the numerators. Our numerators are 16 and 5. So 16 minus 5 equals 11. Copy the common denominator. So our denominator is 40. Our answer is 11 over 40. Simplify the answer if possible. Our answer 11 over 40 is already in the simplest form. Let us have an example of subtracting dissimilar and mixed fractions. Example, 3 and 3 fourths minus 1 and 2 thirds equals n. Look at our denominators, they are not the same, 4 and 3. So we have to rename to similar fractions by finding the LCD of 4 and 3. So the LCD of 4 and 3 is 12. Let us now write the missing numerators by dividing the LCD to the original denominators which are 4 and 3. Let us now divide. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. The other one, 12 divided by 3 equals 4. 4 times 2 equals 8. Now, let us subtract the whole numbers. 3 minus 1 equals 2. Then, Subtract the numerators, 9 minus 8 equals 1. Copy the denominator, which is 12. So our answer is 2 and 1 12. Our answer is already in the lowest term. Remember, to add or subtract similar fractions and mixed fractions without and with regrouping. Number 1. Simply add or subtract the numerators and copy the denominators. Number two, write the sum or difference over the common denominator. Number three, simplify or write the answer in lowest term if necessary. If you end up with an improper fraction, change it to a mixed number. To add or subtract dissimilar fractions and mixed fractions without and with regrouping, follow the steps. Find the least common denominator or LCD. Find the equivalent fractions by dividing the LCD by the denominator of the given fraction, multiply the quotient to the numerator.
Number three, proceed to the operation and or subtract. Number four, simplify or reduce the fraction if possible. That's the end of our discussion. I hope you have learned our lesson for today. Once again, I am Teacher Rene saying, I dream, you dream, we dream. Let's dream to excel in mathematics. Goodbye, God bless us, let us keep safe always. Thank you for watching.